Here in Vegas, new Brisbane Bullets head coach Justin Schuler. Schuler, firstly, first time in Vegas. First impressions? Yeah. No, a little hectic with the F1 track getting built and whatnot. But uh, yeah, good to be here and good to really you know, put our final pieces in place. We'll get onto the shopping list that's about to start. But big news, obviously, breaking with someone you're very familiar with joining the Next Stars program as part of the Bullets, 17-year-old Rocco. It must be exciting for you, especially with what the history you've had with him. Yeah, I mean, like to coach him last year at the Worlds and see what he could do against his own age group, the level he was at comparatively, and then now get to be his first pro coach is, is nice and special. But even more so for him to be a Brisbane kid, to be able to play for the team he's followed his whole life, um, get to start his pro journey there. It's going to be a, a unique thing, but a great thing. And yeah, like he's, you know, he's chomping at the bit and, and ready to go. And yeah, we're excited to see where he can, where he can end up. We've seen what the Next Stars program can, can do for players and a lot of them come for, for one year and then become draft eligible. He's even more unique where it's going to take a couple of years, gets to be in that pro program, Brisbane Bullets, learn from a guy like Aaron Baines. It seems like there's no better fit for him. Yeah, it was funny. Like when I first spoke to him, it was about, you know, how he comes and bees involved with us when he's back home. And then the more I thought about him, like, you're ready to start your journey now. And, um, you know, a 16 year old coming in turns 17 next week. And this year is like a red shirt year for him where he just gets to be in a pro environment, work on his body, go day in, day out against Banger and, um, yeah, see where, where that progression goes. So that next year when he really has to be a performer, he's already got those those runs under his belt. So, no, we think it's the best thing for him. He's he's in the trajectory that, you know, we're p really pleased to be a part of now. So, yeah, it's exciting times for us. Fast forward to this week, Summer League. We know with the roster it came together, you got the bench kind of sorted nice and early, Sam McDaniel, Isaac White. You're here looking for an import wing. What kind of player is going to really suit this Brisbane Bullets team? Yeah, we, we wanted to have a defensive mindset first with, you know, local talent and how we went about it. But this one now is really about, you know, what scoring punch can they give us? Uh, their own creation off the bounce is going to be important to us with the, the other personnel we've got around them. Uh, so that's basically where we're going to start. But, you know, we want a two-way player. Like, the other end's going to matter to us as well. So, no, we've got a good little shopping list going. You know, we'll see see how many stay after the first couple of days and then we'll start our interviews and, and hopefully... We've, Round this out pretty quick. Looking forward to catching up with you later in the week about how that process is going. Is it made this a lot easier when you've locked in the point guard import in Shannon Scott? Because that's been a big thing we talk about Brisbane. They need that true point guard. You've got a good one in Shannon Scott. Has that made this three guard a lot easier to look for? Yeah, absolutely. Like it's funny when, you know, Nordo coming in was a real key for us so that we, we felt confident in, in the way we could go with the point. And you know, when we're looking at Shannon, it's like, well, what's the point of keep looking like? He's exactly what we're talking about, exactly what we want. So that does give you that comfort to now go and just have a little bit more, I guess, better use of the word risk at that spot where we can maybe go a little younger because we've got an experienced uh, point guard that's played in the league before. So it just broadened what we could do in that spot. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing where it ends up. Lastly, you've been in the job for a few months now. How's everything going? The team looks like it's coming together nicely. How's this head coach life in the NBL feel for you? Yeah, no, it's, been, it's a change for sure, um, but it's been great. Like, uh, you know, and again, to have two pieces like Sobes and Bainsey there that have, have been there and done that and, you know, we needed to make a big culture change in, in the club and we feel like we've made good inroads on that. We've recruited the type of people that we want. So we're still undefeated. We're going all right right now. So we're uh, no, definitely enjoying the journey. Appreciate your time. Look like the Bullets have looked after you here in Vegas. We'll catch up with you in, in a couple of days and good luck with the shopping list. No worries. Thanks, Hills.